Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Madeline. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. In today's video, I decided to show you guys how I edit and take my pictures for Instagram because I've been getting a lot of questions like, how do you get your Instagram to look nice? So I thought I would show you guys how I edit and take my pictures and like how I get ready and some like tips and tricks I use to get better looking pictures. So if you want to see that video, just keep watching. Okay, so I'm gonna do this video in kind of like a vlog style, like show you guys what I'm doing, not really a sit down video because it would be easier for you to just see what I'm doing rather than like explain it. So yeah, this is gonna be a vlog. So I thought I would show you guys like how I do my makeup for photo shoots because I feel like that's the whole part of the process and like taking pictures, like getting ready. So I'm just gonna show you guys how I get ready, how I do my makeup. So yeah, I just use this Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. And my favorite part, contouring. I don't normally like go like too harsh with the contouring, but since I'm taking pictures today, like I'm gonna like set the under eyes and like do all that. Okay, so for eyeshadow, I normally just do like a dark look, but since I'm taking pictures today, like I kind of want to make it glittery because like that pops in pictures, you know. And then I just like add some glitter. I just use this color right here. And yeah, kind of just like put that on my inner corner. I'm just gonna brush it out so that it's like a little bit more straight than it is right now and not as naughty. I feel like if you're gonna take pictures, you might as well wear like an interesting outfit. So yeah, that's one of my tips. Like kind of wear something different, like not something you would normally wear. It makes the picture like more interesting. So this is what I'm wearing. I'm just wearing like this red tank top with like this blue bomber jacket and some black jeans. Another one of my hacks is if you're gonna have a photo shoot and like you don't normally have photo shoots a lot, like I don't have time to be doing a photo shoot like every week. So normally when I do have photo shoots, my friends do wanna take pictures of me. Like I'll bring some clothes and like a bag. I just have this bag of like, jackets and like shirts that I'm going to change into so that I can have like different outfits and I recommend you guys do that if you don't really want to take pictures all the time but you want a lot of pictures. Okay so basically when I take pictures it's mostly like Kaylin that I have photo shoots with and like my friends like you know I don't have a photographer or anything but we're just going to this random like airport that's by our house. I don't know it's like big and open so wait yeah you can see my face. So we just arrived at the place that we're going to be taking pictures. It's basically just just like this big soccer field and I think we're just gonna be like I don't know like taking pictures in the field slash on the road I guess so yeah you don't really need like a cool place to take pictures honestly like anywhere that's like open and there's not a lot of people because it would get awkward if you take pictures in front of like people so we just choose like areas that don't have that many people and it's really nice out oh there's a helicopter we're not like fancy or anything we're just using like iPhone 10, right? To take pictures. You have to tell me if my hair looks like I have to go back more. Oh my god, my hair is so Like flip strange. it or something. Cause it's like really like. All right, so I don't know if you can see, but I'm gonna be taking some pictures of her on my phone. Yeah. So um, basically, I just like to do candid ones. So like, I'll be like pretending to walk and like smile and like, yeah. Can you see guys? You like a low or no? Yeah. Drop it, drop it low, drop it low, bro. Okay. Um. So right now I'm using the um, Huji app to take some pictures. And honestly, sometimes they come out pretty cute. So, let's get it. <laughs> and there's someone coming. Are you leaving? This is like two direct sunlight. Yeah. <laughs> you can't really see my face, but yeah, we might go to a different location because it was really sunny here. So yeah, that's what's up. So right now we're just taking pictures in front of like a white wall. Okay, I'm gonna put the camera right here so you guys can like see how I'm kind of posing. But yeah, this is just the outfit. Coca-Cola not sponsored. Gymshark sponsor me. <laughs> you should go up more. Because, okay, so if you look at the garage, it's like really shadowy and like this person. Just look at I can't see. Okay, so basically another one of my tips is to like get down on the floor like when you take pictures so like you look taller. It's like from an upward angle. I want to demonstrate it. 
So Kaylin is gonna get at that downward ankle. So basically you just wanna like go on the floor like that. Squat. Yeah, squat. And then like you just look taller in the picture. The aftermath of taking pictures, there's literally like 3,000 pictures and like, you know you only end up liking like two. Okay, so these are all the pictures in the photo album. I just imported them from the camera and now I'm gonna show you guys how I edit them. Okay, so I just imported all of the pictures into VSCO. I'm gonna start with these ones first. If the picture's like really bright like this, I'll like go in the exposure and like turn it down because it doesn't need to be that bright. So I just like turn it down like one. You can like see that it makes it like kind of darker. And then I'll just go under sharpen and turn that up one. And same with clarity. And then I always do this, I just turn the skin tone. I don't really know what that does. I think that it makes you like less red. And then I'll just like look at every filter and like see which one I like. I kind of like this one, but I don't ever do like the filters 12 because that's like way too much. So I'll just like turn it halfway, like five. I'll just like go on it. And I'll turn the contrast down because I don't know why that filter just has like a lot of contrast. And it's kind of dark, so I'll normally turn it up one too. Then I go into sharpen. And then I normally just turn the temperature down because I don't really want warm tone pictures. So yeah, I just turn it down. And you can see the difference between that and that. And since all my other pictures are already like that, I'll just copy those edits and put them onto these ones. That's a life hack if you don't edit every single one of them. Okay, so for this next picture, I just put on the screen what I did. You guys can just follow that if you want it to look the same. 